Welcome back to another video on my channel, Logan Speed Shop. Today, just a quick one, working with alternators. So, we've got the stock 13B bugger here. He's tiny, he's useless, he's about 60 amps I think. He's been painted, he's got paint and orifices he shouldn't have. Let's upgrade him. First option was one I just had lying around, which I believe is an SR one. Mounting points near on the same. Wiring, different, but hey, doesn't matter, I'm going to change it all. She's got a nice Bosch plug, but the problem was, she's in mystery condition. So I thought, bugger it, let's get a new one. If we're going to get a new one, let's get a nice LS one. Mounting points for this, nowhere near the same. But, let's make it work. So, this is all you need to know, to put an LS1 alternator, LS whatever alternator, GM radio, uh, sorry, GM alternator onto your 13B. So you've got the mounting point here. How well I can do this with one hand, I don't know. And you can see, if we put it at the front, the belt does not line up. Probably line up with an FD motor, not this one. But the front of this casting line here, pretty much, well I've had a belt on it, it lines it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to run tape around here, we're going to trim this off, and then we're going to see how it fits up. You can see here, got her taped up around that line. Pretty average tape job, but it should do the trick. And now I've just got this nice straight line to cut. Knock this tab off. And should line up. Now, just like that, she's all cut off. We've got a nice straight-ish line. Should be able to mount it on there. Just going to grab some random hardware. Chuck it on just with that one point, And see if we line up. And there we have it, just like that, LS alternator on the 13B. Grab a 6PK belt, got the Franklin kit so that matches up with the stock LS here. Hard to tell on camera, but it actually sits near on square, which is not bad considering we've got one bolt only. The other side, obviously nothing yet. One bolt will be enough. As long as we support the other side, the factory bracket, it's not going to cut it, so I have to make one up. I'll probably use this as half a template. Go off one of these end bolts, and that way I got a little bit of an adjuster. But yeah, just that simple to put an LS alternator onto your 13B. As for the wiring, pretty simple. One goes to the charge light, one goes to ignition. You can, technically, you could run the ignition straight to the positive pole no harm in doing that it can cause a bit of a parasitic drain if you do it like that but it does work completely but yeah just have to measure up the belt once I get the tensioner sorted and yeah we've got it on there and get the right size bolt because it's an M10 hole and I've got an M8 otherwise yeah looks the part should be easy enough and for a whole five minutes of cutting didn't take a lot of work figured I can't leave you guys in the lurch like that we can make a bracket real easy, let's do it. So I got the stock one, cut it off, smoothed it around, drilled a hole, obviously still need some paint, but we can deal with that later. That's gonna suit some of the nut on it, so let's whip this nut off, get this on, find a bolt to suit, and hopefully it works. Well, that didn't work. She needs to be shorter, so let's drill a hole a little bit higher pretty much at the bottom of the adjuster and go for it. Take two, hell of a lot shorter now. Should go on there well. I'm actually gonna go reverse than what I'd like to mount it, just because I reckon it'll give me that little bit more room without failing the top on the body of the alternator. So let's get this on there. Chuck some hardware in there quickly. Let's do this up. And just like that, brackets on. Just have to whip it off, give it a little bit of a touch of paint. It's got plenty of adjustment, just have to have both. Oh, might have tipped over. But as long as that top one's loose and the bottom one's loose, you can rotate it to where it needs to be. And I've got enough adjustment. Just need to cut a belt up, work out the size I need, and he's good to go. At least wait an alternator done.